Tony Soy Sats Assassin, welcome to another Chasing of the Dragons Cigar Double Review. <sighs> you know, they might as well make 25 different variations of Year of the Dragon so that the top 25 will be just Year of the Dragons. At this moment, there's, there's too much of those crap. Okay, so today we are doing this, this, this. Yeah. It's the Year of the Dragon from Rocky Patel. That. And I was supposed that is a pretty okay B-roll that is somewhere there that I didn't plan. Maybe there will be one there, might not be. But let's take a quick look at, at the at the detail of this box and then we look at and then it, it, Yeah, let's look let's look at the cigar. All right, so Rocky Patel, Year of the Dragon 2024 Toro is a 6.5 by 52. It's got an MSRP of $35 per stick. And is um, it's got the Mexican Sailor just wrapper over two binders from Connecticut. And one of them is Broadleaf. Connecticut, Connecticut, and Connecticut Broadleaf. And the uh, fillers are from Condega. SLE and Jalapa region of Nicaragua. And also a little bit of Honduras filler is in there as well. This is very interesting. So that being said, let's again look at this box closely. Look at this. Um this print is I want to say it's embossed, but it's just I don't know how they put it on there. It doesn't it doesn't feel like it's glued. It looks like it's embossed and print over. So they print this over after they push the back up. And I think there's some foam under it. Okay. So Rocky Patel 2024. And once you open it up, inside it just says six year Nicaraguan uh binder wrapper San Andreas. That kind of information inside is the same thing. So they have this padding from the inside and the outside. Ugh. Okay. Let's take one up and enjoy. Take one up and enjoy. Oh my god, I made a mess. I made a mess. All right. Again, I guess um the cigar is Nice looking, I guess, in a way. 
I like the decoration. I like the band and everything. But it looks like a. Uh, there's some imperfection to it. There's some shine to it. You know how I'm gonna show the shine to it. This is shine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the camera really close. See if I can film the shine for you guys. Be right back. Okay, hopefully you get to see that I was pointing at the middle part and there was like dots of like shine whenever I turn it. And I think that's with all the cigars. So there is some shine to it. You just had to take my word for it. Let's take out this band and get smoking. All right. Usual process. Here's a dragon. I think this dragon's pretty cool. Did a pretty good job on that. Zarp on it. The leaf, of course, San Andreas level of ugly, but that shine. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see that shine? You see? Just look close. Dots of shine, dots of shines on it. I'm not kidding. There is some crystallization on this thing. All right. So. <sighs> Oh. What? Alright, I don't know how to explain to you guys, but it smells like Japanese perfume or carb air freshener. So like... Squash. <laughs> Woody and squash and floral in a way. I don't know. It's like cologne or perfume like. Ooh, come on. Why do you do that to me? Well, there is draw. Oh, very floral. Woodsy, floral, a little bit earthiness. A little bit leatheriness. It's floral. It's very floral. And pepper. Just taste it now. Let's light it up. I'm kind of interested in this cigar because Hashimoto tell me that this cigar is surprisingly good. Now obviously, I'm going to smoke it with the boys. They're waiting at the tribal room. I'm going to enjoy this cigar with them and see where this goes. Oh, it's peppery. I can start tasting that pepper. It came slow. It came slow. That took a while. Again, floral, woodiness, pepper, cocoa. A little bit of sweetness at the end. Powdery. Leather. A little bit earthiness, very little. But it's coming up more. It's a lot of flavor. I can tell you that a lot, a lot of flavor. A 
A little bit of mustiness. <laughs> that pepper is getting strong. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, right now the pepper is pretty much overtake everything I'm going to taste. So I'm going to slowly smoke through this and see if we can pick up some more notes. And I'll be right back at first hand. Yeah. First hand. All right. First third. I'm going to tell you. First third. If you go out there, you blindfold yourself and just take any synergious... Broadleaf Binder, Nicaraguan Fueller. You can't even tell if this is... Nah. Like, you, you smoke all of them, they all break up. Pretty much gotta taste the same. And that's what I got right now. I do not taste any characteristic of Honduras tobacco. I do not taste um, any different for having a Connecticut double uh, binder. Other than, you know, what all these leaves is making the strength heavier. I can't tell the difference. Maybe it's a little bit more floral. And that's pretty much it. Like, right, I think they went with a safe blend. It's like, you know, everybody knows it works, but let's add a few things in there. Like, I'll add another binder, I'll add another uh, a filler in there just to give a little bit more something. But I think so far, right now, at this moment, from the first third, all it add is more strength. It's heavy. This thing's media plus to fall. Any day. So. I'm smoking it very slowly. I'm trying to uh, see if there's anything different. But so far, it's just that. San Andreas. Characteristics. Nicaraguan. You get coffee, cocoa, mustiness, tree, wood, a little bit earthiness, floral, uh, pepper. And really, really gritty texture. It just feels heavy from the moment that you smoke it. So, $35? Uh, um, um, good thing you guys have a lot of like presentation thing and box and stuff like that. Might go somewhere higher than that uh, on my scale. But $35? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. So, let me smoke second, third. Be right back. All right. Second, third. Now, it gets a little bit more floral. It's still just more of like a mustiness, wood plus floral plus cocoa. Maybe a little bit coffee, a woodsiness. Pepper died down a little bit, but it's still there. It's still there. It's an enjoyable cigar, but it's one of those cigars like it kind of tastes like a lot of other cigars. So it's really hard to say, hey, this is $35 worth because that's saying that all those cigars are also $35 worth because you get almost the same experience. It's very bold. Uh, it's full strength. So I, I don't really see <clears throat> too much value um, mixing the extras in there like double binder and, and, and uh, uh, adding certain things in there that makes it bolder. It has almost the same enjoyment factor as some of those cigars that has the uh, Mexican San Andreas, Nicaraguan, and Broadleaf Binder combo. Construction is a little bit iffy, but I will say this is an enjoyable cigar that didn't reach that expectation of $35. Right, so let me get this bin off as we get into the last stir. And you can see, even though um, this thing is over the top, the main band is actually understated. The Rocky Patel logo is very tiny. Obviously, you get the Asian round thing in 2024, Year of the Dragon. And that's pretty much it on this band. It's understated. This almost looks like a, like a Chinese uh, red bag over the New Year's and stuff like that. It's like that. Very, just few words on it and mostly China red and gold. So it's got the thing there. And I think this packaging is way better. Way better done than Conviction. Okay. 
if I compare to this to conviction, I'll buy this any day. Alright, but take conviction out of it, I will say this cigar is very close to a lot of other cigars. Except stronger, maybe a little bit more floor. Okay, Laster, be right back. Alright, so I'm done. Finally, this thing has some strength, so it's more like a chore for me to smoke through it. Um, like I said, it it did not taste like something that's exclusive or very different. It does get a little bit sweeter from time to time and the last third. But other than that, it didn't really change much. Floral, cocoa, a little bit coffee, um, woodsy, musty, that kind of flavor. So you, you, you're you not going to get something that's like absolutely, wow, I've never tasted this before, right? You're not going to get that. But it's still an enjoyable cigar. A lot of people will like it. In fact, I can enjoy this cigar if the price is right. Uh, unfortunately, it's not. The price is $35 a stick. I think I got roughly $15 to $18 uh, of enjoyment. Right? Um, that's that's where I am. Doesn't mean that it, 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 it doesn't worth more to you or it doesn't worth $35. You know, some people think that's perfectly worth $35. I'm just giving you my opinion what I will feel comfortable if I were to buy another one. Right? And, and 35 was way too high for this one because I feel like I can buy other $15 stick that's going to give me roughly around the same enjoyment, flavor profile, that kind of stuff. Right? So... That's where I am right now. 15, if you don't have the box. 18, maybe close to 20, maybe, if you get the box. All right, because the box collecting, there's a lot of work. In, and I mean, that their box is, is special. It, it takes a lot of work to, you know, get it embossed, printed, put the foam under it, bind it to the wood and all that stuff. That's a lot of work, right? So I, I got to give a little bit to that. So 18, you know, 15 to 18. Roughly, uh, if you really like the box, 20, that's where the range is. So 15 to 20 uh, is where I am right now. And if you can get this in 20, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, it's a big rip off or anything like that. It, it's it's definitely enjoyable cigar. And I, a lot of people who like high strength, full strength cigar, you're going to enjoy this a lot more than I did. Because I think uh, when I smoke a full strength cigar, a lot of time it became a chore. The last third, it's like, oh, I really need to get through it. It takes time, you know, so that's where it's at. But, you know, make sure to watch um, Eric Smoke One if you have one's uh, review because it's double review and he can handle a little bit more strength than I do. So he might have a different experience. For me, feels like a chore at the last door. Enjoyable, but not 35. Okay. And, and right now, as of all the dragon right now, still then then nothing beats the one that I have given a lot of price to yet. I and mean, we're still looking for one that will beat it so that I don't have to say that's number one of the year, right? So, um, yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, let me know your experience and on this particular cigar. Do you think it's worth more than $20? Do you think it's worth less than $20? Let me know, all right? And make sure to watch Eric's and see what he thinks. All right, so... We got more um, dragons to do. I think there's like roughly 20 something dragon. We already did close to that. Very soon we'll be done. Bear with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.